Hey, how's it going, you guys? I'm going to show you guys a cool new Twitter app that I found. Um, it's called Phoenix um, for Android um, or for Twitter. It's only available on Android, so I guess it could be Phoenix for Android. Um, anyway, I'm going to pull it up. Um, it's like Felix, but with the N. Ha ha ha, get it? Phoenix. Um, anyway, um, it has a standard hamburger navigation drawer, timeline mentions, activity tab, men, um, your direct messages, your favorites, discover, lists. So if you have multiple lists, that's something that people really like. Um, and then if you have safe searches, um, you can also use that. Um, so let's go into the settings, show you like just the basic settings that it has. Um, you have two different themes. You have a light theme and a dark theme. Then you have your font size, smaller, small, regular, big, bigger, um, and then you have your font type, regular Roboto, thin, condensed Roboto, um, date format, which is relative, which is says an hour ago, two hours ago, etc. Absolute will give you the exact time, minute, second that it was posted, and then the date. And then media preview, this is for inline previews for the actual device. So if you have um, off or save data, so it doesn't download them, you can turn them off or have big or small. So you can see it here, um, which is really nice. Um, then let's go back to the actual other settings. So you have enable real time updates. So this is the streaming service, which you can use is over 4G LTE, um, 3G, 2G, whatever the case may be, or Wi-Fi. And then you don't have to worry about going back into the app every time. If you don't want to do that, you can do just refresh, manual refresh, two minutes, five minutes, etc., up to four hours. Um, then you have an internal browser, which a lot of apps have these days. Um, basically, it will just get you to go in if you see an article or you open up something that will open. Um, so here's the when you open up a video, when you open up a picture, you can download the picture um, or open it in the web browser. And then the scrolling is actually really smooth on it. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it in the video just because of how it's set up and then how it's encoding it. So that might be something to take a look at, but it's really smooth. When you go ahead and long press on a tweet, it'll give you the option to reply, retweet, favorite. Um, if you hit the menu button here, it'll give you share that particular tweet, copy the tweet, or translate it. If you translate it, it'll open up Google Translate, which is really nice that a lot of people like. Um, and it has the scrolling left and right through the tabs um, to go through them, which is also really nice. Um, then one thing that a lot of people really like that I was surprised that none of other clients have it is the activity tab like the official Twitter client So if someone's following you or retweets you or favorites you or anything like that It'll all show up here and then you can go through it and not have to worry about see who retweeted you or if it's in the timeline or not So that's also really nice um, And the list tabs if you open up the list tabs It'll give you all the tweets in that list and then you can scroll over and then put all the members that are in that um, particular website which is really nice um, I don't know if it will add it later in the future but maybe go ahead and replace this with one of the other tabs or add it at the tab because I know a lot of people like doing that having a particular tab if they only want to follow the news on that day and not go through it um, you also have your notifications up here which is this is for I have enabled for um, timeline tweets so all the new tweets will automatically show up here um, if you double tap on the notification number up there, the you see it'll scroll up to the very top of them. So that's really nice. Um, that's just a basic overview of it, the basic features and stuff. Um, it doesn't have a widget currently, um, so th I don't know if they're going to add it that in the future or not. Um, but if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. If you like the video, please um, like, share, and then give feedback, whether it's good or bad. Um, and I can do a little bit more videos like this of different apps. Um, thanks for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything, leave them here in the description. Thank you guys. Bye.